How much further? Almost there. You're like our chief. He's human, like you lot. Oh, he's real hard, he is. He tells us what to do. What's his name? Jürgen Muntz. <laughs> Jürgen Muntz? He's notorious, a notorious outlaw. Did you hear that, Klaus? I told you ogres weren't to be trusted. I'll have no part of this. I'm leaving right now. Goodbye. Don't hurry back. Hey, Herblad. What are you getting us into with this Muntz character? Well, our chief aims to have a bash at a green skin camp close by and grab the booty. <laughs> the chief thought you might like it. Fancy having to go at them yourself, hmm? So he knew we were coming? Hmm. I suppose he's aware of any travelers through his patch of forest. I'll have to talk to the commander about this. Morgan! What's wrong? I think we're being manipulated. Jürgen Muntz is behind all this. He's the ogre's chief. It's my guess he concocted this story about the flooded road to lure us into an attack on a greenskin camp. This could be a real time waste, Morgan. And time is often more precious than gold coin. We've got time, and we can always use more coin. We'll attack the camp with months. <laughs> months up and left, now we're of no use to him. That comes as no surprise. Have you spoken to the ogres? Yes, and they want to join us rather than go with months. <sighs> That's an offer I won't refuse. Ogres make good fighters. Tell them they're welcome, so long as they don't drink too much blood during battles. Oh, greetings, Commander. You won't be sorry to have ogres at your back. We're ready to rip and rend. Good. Now let's be on our way. We've just crossed the Kislev border, Morgan. And look who's waiting for us. Commander Bernhardt, I presume. I am Vladimir Stormbringer. Ice mage to the Tsarina Katerina at the palace of Kislev. Her Imperial Highness has sent me as your formal escort through her lands. You have an impressive reputation, Vladimir. So, for that matter, has your Tsarina. Of myself I say nothing. But the Tsarina is a woman above all others. It was she who saw your coming as she scryed the ice crystal. Inside that crystal, she has also witnessed the rise of the undead and their cold, silent invasion of our motherland. It will be interesting to meet your Tsarina. Then follow me, Commander. Morgan, more trouble. Let me guess. Bands of living dead on the road ahead. Right first time. They are strange, fearsome beings. The peasants of this region call them the Cursed Ones. The cold dead who eat warm, living flesh. After nightfall, if there is a knock on a cottage door, no peasant will open that door. Children have gone missing. We'll bring hot war to the Cursed Ones. Ready the troops! Slaughter! Late again, Bernhardt? I don't have your advantage. I can't fly here on my own hot air. I am Tsarina Katarina, ruler of Kislev. Welcome to my Imperial Palace, Commander Morgan Bernhardt. I have been looking forward to your arrival. I'm glad to have arrived, Your Imperial Highness. How can I be of service? You serve yourself, I suspect. But as we share the same enemy, we can serve each other. The armies of the undead are a spreading plague in my realm. The populations of whole villages have disappeared, and I have lost a dozen regiments in battle with the living dead. My mission is to find the Hand of Nagash. I am familiar with your mission, and with the legend of the Hand of Nagash. According to Kislevite folklore, 
The hand is imprisoned inside a glacier beyond the northern borders of my empire. Did you know that the undead are also showing an interest in the hand? I have received reports that they are massing in the region of this fabled glacier. Do you know anything about the nature of this hand? I know that the hand of Nagash is not a hand. Let me explain. Nagash, that being of ancient nightmares, had an arch servant, a necromancer. That necromancer had no name. Serving the will of Nagash in all things, the Nameless One rode across darkened lands, and terror rode with him. In time, the Nameless One was given a name by those who feared his coming. The Hand. The Hand of Nagash. That is what is frozen in the Glacier, Commander. The Arch Servant of Nagash from the beginning of days. I see. And unless I'm mistaken, the Dread King's minions are attempting to free the Hand from his ice prison. I have no doubt of it. Earlier today, I scryed my crystal, peering into its depths, and I saw them in a vision. Undead armies, gathered near a glacier on the borders of Troll Country and the Chaos Wastes of the North. I can give you the exact location. Then I must go there, immediately. Indeed you must, but are your forces sufficient for the task? My old friend Eric Ragnar lives to the north. He's a fierce warrior, and so are his followers, Ragnar's wolves. I can request his aid on the way. I will ride with you, Commander. My skills as an ice mage are at your service. Vladimir will prove invaluable to you, Commander. And Ragnar's wolves would add great strength to your forces. Thank you for your advice, Your Highness. I will leave now. I wish you success on your mission, Commander Bernhardt, for all our sakes. It's been a long time, Ragnar. How many trolls have you slain since we last met? <laughs> Not enough. But we've killed a few in our time, eh, Morgan? What brings you to the cold north? Something worse than trolls. The walking dead. Ah, the cursed ones. I've heard rumors that the dead have risen. The rumors are true. They've spread across the Empire and into Kislev. They're also massing to the north, planning to free the Hand of Nagash from a glacier. If they gain the Hand, we may soon be ruled by an Empire of the Dead. And you want my help? I could do with a Hand. Well, I'm on my way to repulse an invading band of trolls, but I'm short of troops. Help me out? And I'll be able to help you. It's a tricky decision, Morgan. Charging after trials could lose us a great deal of time. <laughs> Ragnar's helped me many a time, so I'll help him. Besides, I need his men for the mission. I knew I could rely on you, Morgan. We've found the beasts, Morgan. They're up ahead. Are you ready to spill their black blood? I'm always ready. Let's paint the troll lands black. It was good to shed blood at your side again, Morgan. Now let's shed some more. My men are yours to command. Ready the troops. We march north. Undead hordes on the road ahead. Hack them to pieces. Undead forces have been sighted up ahead. Huh. So, you finally arrived, Commander. Much too late, as usual. Ah, you called me Commander. You're learning. The Hand has been freed from the glacier by the enemy. Thanks to your tardiness, the undead legions have mustered in greater numbers. Now what are you going to do? This is what comes of delaying to fight alongside an outlaw like Munts. And you lost even more time aiding Ragnar against a mob of witless trolls. I thought I taught you better than that all those years ago. The Hand must be destroyed at all costs. Sound the attack!
hand is destroyed, Morgan. Well done. You're even better than I used to be. High praise. Now let's return to Altdorf and report our success. So, how did the mission fare? I learned that the Hand of Nagash was a mighty necromancer captured in a glacier long ages past. But the undead succeeded in freeing this ancient being. And what befell this Hand? The Hand went the way of all flesh. I destroyed him. Ah, that's a blessing. I fear to think what power the Dread King might have gained with the Hand at his side. Congratulations, Commander. You've done well. But there still remains the Black Grail. Volkmar, give us your advice. Information is scant. You might discover more details at the court of Paravon. As far as I can tell, the Grail resides in Bretonia. According to some stories, the Black Grail serves an unholy purpose, a dark god. It is said that the Grail is both many and one. Few approach it and live. I won't let that worry me. I'll ride straight for Bretonia. What would Bernhard know of Grails of Evil? He is a simpleton in the affairs of the supernatural. Besides, Bretonia is teeming with devil worshippers and comely young witches that would lure him into all manner of depravity. I wish. I will ride ahead and consult with a number of witch hunters in Bretonia on the most likely method of achieving this grail of blackest sin. Do what you like. I'll do what I must. I'll take my leave, Lord. Good fortune, Commander. How are you, Commander? Good to see you again. Heard you were coming this way. I wouldn't say no to joining up with you. I wouldn't say no either. Glad to have you with us, Asgars. Resume march! Undead forces sighted ahead. Let me get my axe at them. I'll split their skulls and act their limbs. Engage them! Forward! Greetings, King Luan Leonker. To what do we owe the honor of this visit, Commander Bernard? I'm searching for the Black Grail. Volkmar believed you might have some information. I can tell you little. All I can suggest is that you search in the city of Musilon. Musilon? A decayed city of the dead and the damned. Even the living creep about its streets like phantoms, and the phantoms outnumber the living. Is that all you can tell us, Highness? You send us to a place even your own Bretonian armies avoid like the plague. May I point out that if we fail in our mission, Bretonia will fall under the sway of the undead as surely as any other kingdom. Won't you give us more help? With information? No. But I can supply you with a regiment of Grail Knights for as long as you're within Bretonia. Isn't that generous enough? Very generous. But I'm sure you're aware of the importance of my mission. So if you can see your way clear to assist us further... Perhaps. Commander, stop off at Vantien. A regiment of Bretonian Knights of the Realm will be waiting for you there. Many thanks, Leon Kerr. And farewell. Commander Bernhardt, well met. I am Elrod of Loren, and you, I presume, are Klaus Zimmerman, who taught the Commander everything he knows. Klaus taught me some of the things I know, and that was a long time ago. Don't take any notice of those rumors he keeps spreading around. Such ingratitude. And after all I taught you. Ignore him, Elrod. By the look of you, you have some important news to impart. Indeed, Commander. The King and Queen of Loren request your presence in King's Glade. They have vital knowledge they wish to impart. Very well. I'll travel to King's Glade. That is good. I will accompany you on your journey. Let us hope it passes safely. 
Commander, there's a silent evil in the night. I can feel it in my spirit. Look up ahead. It's a legion of the dead heading our way. We'll part cold flesh with cold steel. Prepare to engage. King Orion, Commander Bernhardt comes seeking the knowledge you promised. You are a welcome guest, Commander. I am glad you answered my request to attend. So, what is your news? I have been informed that you sought information from King Leon Kerr with little result. That's true. The King had no desire to reveal the shameful secret of the Black Grail Knights. Those Grail Knights who have been raised from their tombs and deceived into serving the Dread King. Britannia takes great pride in the purity and honor of its Grail Knights. No Bretonian ruler would wish the news to go abroad that Black Grail Knights are in the service of unholy powers. Black Grail Knights. That's a blasphemous creation. The Grail Knights who were laid to rest deserve better than to be resurrected by evil and warped into mockeries of their former selves. They pose a monstrous threat to all living beings. You'll need every assistance you can find if you are to confront the Black Grail Knights. I will offer you what I can. A regiment of my most expert archers. Caleb is here. I believe you know him. Well met, Morgan. I'm pleased to see you again. And honored to be joining your forces once more. I'm glad you'll be coming with me, Galed. How long will you be staying with my army? And to the end, bitter or otherwise. That end may not be far away. Prepare to leave for Musilon, my friend. I wish you light in the dark, Commander Bernhardt. Goodbye, my Lord Orion. Morgan. A tree man desires our aid in preventing undead forces from entering the forest and polluting the spirit of the trees. Listen, Morgan. I like trees as much as the next man. But we've got more important matters in hand. While we're wasting time, all hell will be breaking out in Musalon. You're right, Klaus, as usual. The tree man can fight his own battles. We'll carry on with the mission. The undead approach. Maybe we could find a way around them, Morgan. Never! Launch the attack! Hands up! Your money or your life! <laughs> Do you mind telling me how you expect a highwayman to rob an entire army led by Commander Bernhardt? Oh! I rob large armies all the time, single-handed. <laughs> You've got to be joking. As a matter of fact, I am. I've heard that where Commander Bernhardt rides, there's booty to be had. And I have a deep abiding interest in money. How would you like to add my pistol ears to your army? What's your name? Weiss. Stefan Weiss. I admire your nerve, Stefan Weiss. I could do with more men like you. I assume there's a lot of, uh, money in it. Maybe. I'll take that as a yes. Excellent. Fall in. Forward! Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Ah, so you're here, Commander. You've got to get a move on. Dire and dreadful abominations are wreaking havoc in Musalon. Get yourself there right away. Report just come in. Undead forces ahead. Undead forces? As in, not alive? I mean this for the money, and I think it's common knowledge that the dead aren't all that rich, yes? I've been had. I know the feeling. Engage the enemy! The Black Grail Knights have risen, no doubt of it. Just look at them pouring out of Musalon's gates. We're in for one hell of a battle, Morgan. Attack! Attack! No mercy!
The Grail rides out. Destroy the Grail. Doom mortals. This night, Musilon lives in the shadow of the Dread King. Your souls will join our dark crusade. Another battle done, and the crows are dining well again. The crows never lose. But this time, the birds are feasting on bodies that were never truly alive. Yes, those were Black Grail Knights, and they must have been the Black Grail itself. Volkmar said the Black Grail is many and one. Many resurrected knights, one driving will, the Dread Kings. And that will is the power of Dread itself. Driven by Dread. But despite that baleful power, we destroyed the Black Grail. Destroyed it utterly. We certainly did. What a victory. To be honest, I didn't think we had much of a chance. The odds were daunting. But we wiped them out. You really are a better leader than I ever was. I have my moments. And I had a good teacher. Come on, Klaus. Let's get back to Waldorf and give the Emperor the good news. By the way, the Grail Knights that King Lee and Kerl Londos are returning to Paravon. Give them my thanks. Now, let's be on our way. Once again, you return alive and sound in limb, Commander. You lead a charmed life. It's not that charming. We found the Black Grail, my lord. It proved to be a host of resurrected Grail Knights, corrupted into creatures of dread. Ah, yes. The Black Grail is many and one. Now I fully understand. The Dread King raised them from the dead to swell his unholy ranks. And was the mission successful? It was. The Black Grail is destroyed. But it cost a lot of lives. The Black Grail destroyed? Thank the powers of light! The Black Grail at the bidding of the Dread King would have been a force of terror. We must look now to the final battle against the Dread King. Volkmar, I believe you have surmised the Dread King's whereabouts. From the Commander's movements, the enemies he has faced, and the nature of his conflicts with the minions of the Dread King, I have succeeded in locating this evil lord in the lands of the dead within the Southern Desert. The Dread King dwells near the Black Pyramid. If the Commander dares to face him in a battle, that is where he is to be found. I'll find him. I'll face him. Then you face worse than you can imagine, Commander. Do you know why your enemy is called the Dread King? Because he is fear incarnate, living dread. He is the sole survivor of the ancient necromancer kings, and inside his hooded shape abide all the terrors of old chaos. As I said, I'll face him. I salute your courage, Commander. There is a steam tank, freshly repaired, that I place at your disposal. Accept also the sword Drakwald, one of the two surviving rune fangs of the original twelve forged by the dwarf runesmith, Alaric. The magic of rune and blood and fire and moon lives in its metal. There is no sword more deadly under the sky. The weapon is to be wielded only in a time of direst need, and that time is now. Many thanks, my lord. Win this one, Commander for the sake of all living beings. Even with a charmed life and the power of Drakwald, your chances of surviving this battle are low, Commander. I'm sure you know this. You have my greatest respect and admiration. Farewell. I hope to see you again. You're going into hell, Bernhardt! I was born there. And call me Commander.
This is it, Morgan. They're coming. The Dread King, the whole dead, damned army. <laughs> this is it. Yes, it ends here. We're both crazy, you know. What the hell are we doing here? We're not here for the gold, that's for sure. Is it for the glory? I don't give a damn about glory. I do what I must. That's no answer. Why must you do it? I don't know. The truth is, I don't know. With all my troops at my back, trusting their lives to my every decision, I should have some idea why I'm doing all this. Maybe I know one reason. Just one. And what's that? I live to cheat death. Men, ready yourselves for battle. You confront the Dread King and his legions, and the taste of fear is on your lips. I say spit out the fear. Drive out the Dread with bloodlust. Give no quarter, no pity, no mercy. Slay and slay again, and you might live. Ready now. Ready. Death to the undead! Attack! Destroy! Slaughter! Dead minions rise. Crush the living. In the name of Sigmar, I will destroy you, Dread King.